Here we have a B16B EK9 engine or a block that's equipped with the B20 LS crank and they encountered some issues in here. We're going to look at it because this is how they built it. So we're now going to inspect it and study all the possible issues and what they overlooked or what they did not do. You know, this one is something that's really cool because we're going to take it step by step and show you guys from this assembly all the way to the solutions. So, hey, this one is going to get you planted on your seat firmly. And so you you know this is something you're gonna enjoy First of all, our new page is up and running and you can check it out here. It will be in the description below. We got a price list for the locals and the international ones. So you can check it out for our service and what we do. We even post the update on the B-Works from Iligan City when they participated in Motul's racing line event in Tagum City in Davao. That was a 7-hour drive for them. But they look, you can see their crew on their paddock. We even shared time slips of their first time trial because B-Works team, their cars were lined up together on the first time trial so that was cool and fun so initially we also checked their time slips and saw the improvements and we knew how they can squeeze in some more so hey you gotta like and follow the page link will be in the description below so i'll see you guys there because we even post some tech stuff there okay so here's the b16b but it's two liter and an 87 itr crank k series up here and of course a b20 vtec that's all, all already done ready and here we have a new another b16b that we're inspecting and assembling let's go the owner of this engine called me up at the shop page and talked about having issues with the engine because they dropped in a b20 or an ls crank with an 89 stroke and then they were having issues and of course i actually kind of know what was what it was all about and so i told him yeah send it up and then we're gonna work on it and so now let's proceed okay now here we've removed the oil pan and the oil strainer and also the oil pickup tube so now we're gonna show you the underside before we remove the crank so that you guys can see all right so here yes sir okay wait let me turn the crank oh wait, wait. No, no no sorry sorry let me show you something here as we remove the oil pan guess what this is what we found well we couldn't find the rest so it probably got ate up that's the tip of the oil thrower or the oil jet and it's hitting the crank counterweights or the wings because this is an 89 stroke okay let me show you where's the oil there you can see the oil jet wait let's focus focus oh sorry there it's focused as you can see the tips are off that means the counterweight hit it and it snapped it off and so maybe that's why the owner decided to buy a new set of ACL main bearings for us to check this and everything, all right? Okay, now let's remove the girdle, the center mains first, the main girdle, sorry. And then we slowly take off the number one cap and the number five main cap. Yes, sir. And then now we're going to inspect it further and remove the crank and take a look at everything so you know hit the like button if you're enjoying this one because more likes means more activity as per youtube and will get thrown out to a wider audience by the algorithm so that's really helping us on the channel and if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because this would let you be updated whenever whenever we have new stuff or new uploads for your project or for the engine and also because we're gonna have a membership only video that's gonna be really, really good Okay, so here we are. We pull the crank and inspect the rest, like the oil jet. Okay, let me show you here. Come on. Oh, there. You can see the tip of the oil jet or the oil thrower has snapped off. That's because it's hitting the crank counterweights on the 89 LSB20 crank. And look, it probably because it sucked in the metal debris, it started affecting the main bearings because it went to the oil you know it went through the oil pump so now looks like 
we certainly have to inspect the oil pump and work on it. We unplug this or loosen it so that we can clean the block properly. And you can check on the video here, but it will be in the description below on how you thoroughly clean the block and internals just to make sure there's no debris at all. So yes, let's go to the desk now. Okay, here's the, wait, let me get a piece of paper so you guys can see it better. Oh, here, Edmel, the receipt. Because we always do have work sent to them. Okay, here. Let's see, let's look at it closer. Look, it got sheared off. It probably hit, it looks like it did worse. And we found this, remember, on the oil pump. And yep, connects like that, so it snapped it off. But we only found one. So the other three probably got grounded off or grounded fine with the oil pump. Here's the undamaged oil thrower. I have my extra, I will always keep it on the side. Just for reference, there, it's all cut up. So now, because the owner is trying to finish this engine right before the invite, they got an invite to the Legends of the 90s event. So that's, that's a pretty cool event. So they're short on time. So they asked me if I could rebuild this and double check everything for them. And so I said, yeah, that's no problem. I can do this like with overtime. And so we got to mod this instead of ordering a delete kit or like a oil jet plug kit. Because there we can order that, but there is no time. So we got to mod this to sort of like make a delete kit for this old oil jet or on the oil thrower. All right. So now let's check the oil pump. Let me show you guys. Look. Okay, now here's the oil pump. We actually sprayed it with gasoline or solvent just to make it sure it's clean so we can show you guys properly. And here you can see, look, this one we can smooth it out even though there's, you know, an excessive wear, but it's kind of a little too deep for my liking. So when it's like this, we probably don't use it anymore. But what's even more crucial and important is this. Wait, let me remove this. The oil pump gears itself, it's steel, right? And the body is aluminum, so here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but here, the base is so, look, it's so deep, the, the, the wear, the carving. It's probably because it sucked in steel or metal. But the problem is this, the steel gears are actually worn. I've never seen this. I mean, this doesn't happen when it's just dirty oil. You don't wear out the steel gears, but because it sucked in debris, it actually got worn out. So even if we can smooth the housing and get it good on the clearances, it'll still not be okay or good because the gears are actually grooved now. So this is actually virtually unusable. So the good thing is we had we have a spare pump, so we're gonna work on that. But let me show you first. Here you go. We've actually blueprinted this before. I just didn't really assemble it because it's a spare pump, so it was just on the shelf. As you can see, the steel gears has no wear because it's just, it was just used with, you know, even with dirty oil, it's not gonna, you know, do any damage. You can see even the pump cover is already smoothed out and the base of the gears, look, no damage. So we know this is gonna work really good. I mean, as good as a better pump or a new pump, unlike its previous because that one probably had damages as it hit or sucked in the steel parts from the oil thrower so that must not be used so we gotta micro polish the crankshaft of course before we assemble okay here's the crank we had it micro polished i mean we we first we double checked everything if it's straight and good and we just did a bit of micro polishing because so that the journal looks really good and pristine because there was there was slight marks but it wasn't really bad so we had to micro polish now it's ready all right now here you can order a oil thrower delete kit but we didn't have time because the owner needed this in about two days or actually 1.5 days it's actually past midnight right now and i'm doing this for overtime hey but you know it's just to help them so what we did was solder the tip or braze it or weld it or whatever you want to call that into the stock one this way we can put it back and it's actually still deleted so now 
we'll check it on the block. Let's go, let's go. Here's the brand new ACL bearings that he got because it needed to be replaced. Yes, okay. Now we gotta put the plug, the oil throwers back in. All right, let's go. Okay, now here we install the, you know, the plugged or soldered up oil jet with the T handle, size 10, of course. Okay. You have to tighten it properly. Okay, now here with the Turco assembly lube. Okay, we gotta speed this up a bit, okay? So it's gonna take, so that it's not gonna take too long, sorry. All right, there you go. And now we drop in the crank. Wait, now let me show you first. There, the Turco assembly lube is gonna be good for the ACL race bearing on startup. That's gonna be a big help. Okay, we drop the crank, got the thrust washers, and then the number one and five girdle or cap and then the center girdle all right we go with hand tight and then here we can go with the first step it's 18 on the center you can go with 22 but we always just go with 18 and all of it so we're gonna click get the click on the 18 feet pounds torque there okay now we speed it up so that you know this goes on quickly because we know it's like at least around around 10 volts okay there you go okay on the second and final step the center two three four is 49 feet pounds torque and the one in five is 56 feet pounds torque like just like the b20 or b16 so we can speed it up Yes, sir. Okay, now let's see how it spins. Oh yeah. Okay, it spins, it spins, good. So this is gonna be back to normal, okay? Yes. Okay, now let's go back and get the pistons. Now here we check this, and I wish we had more time, but we tried to balance it as close as we can, so we got it good. Here, let me talk about this. Because it's now an 89 stroke LS or B18 LS or B20 crank, the rods are B20 or LS, so it has an oil jet on the rod itself. That's why we have to plug the oil jet on the block. Yes, now it's all ready. We double checked everything. Now we get the new piston rings. There's the new, new ones. All right. Now, if you can check this video, this is about almost two years ago we made this video, and we actually, I actually explained the bearings, the differences between the B sixteen and the B twenty. And let me show you the B roll of the episode one here. Now let's get the B twenty rods. It has the one up pistons already pressed. I want to show you something here, and you will notice the B twenty rods has an oil hole on the bearing. It goes through the saddle onto, onto the neck of the rods. This serves as the oil jet. There's no ridge on the side. And so you can check on that episode one of that build series, the first B20 VTEC series that we did almost two years ago. It has lots of good information. And the, the link will be in the description below and also pinned in the comments, so don't worry about it. So now let's go install the pistons. And here we are. We gapped it earlier, so now it's all ready. So let's go. Piston number one. All right. Get it on the board. Make sure the crank journal or the, you know, the rod journals are like at the bottom dead. Okay, we tap this. Make sure it's square and flush. And then we tighten it one more time. This It's going to click one more. Once you actually align it to the board itself, it's going to click one more. Okay, let's go. Step this. There you go. All right. Now we go and put the rod cap. Yes, and we put it all, all four before we actually stretch it. All right. All right, so now onto the rod cap. Okay, we put the ARP loop there. Okay, now it's number two. Yes, sir. Then rod cap. Number three, yes, 
and then of course rod cap you guys can notice the shadows behind the video or you know the shadows in the screen is a lot lesser right that's because now it's actually 9 a.m and earlier i was working on it until 3 a.m that's why my colleague is now here but hey that's okay we're trying to make time because the owner is actually invited to uh, the legends of the 90s meet so hopefully he makes it good on the event yes sir look at that it's all ready and spinning good okay now let's complete the strainers and the oil pan and everything even the oil pickups there you go ready close the oil pan this way it's sealed good with no leaks all right yes the block is all is all done sorry the, we had to do the short block because the head they have it and it's all good and you know they have it ready so they're gonna do the, the installation by themselves so that is good yeah now look at this here here it is all wrapped up and ready to be picked up via grab it's going to travel around one hour or two to the place so hey you can actually click here for the other type r